Kai versus the world. All right, all right. Welcome back, guys, to the Screenshot Saturday feature. It's been a long time. It's been a long time since then one of these is that a feature Friday is going to go up on the channel before this, most likely. 35 amazing indie developers participated this weekend, and I cannot wait to get in all the awesome games. I got spoiled a little bit. I kind of saw some games, some some features, and some screenshots, and some amazing trailers. So let's get right into it. All right, at first we have Parlu10. It says, thank you for hosting. Still working on Scarlet Shadow, an old school RPG set in a sci-fi fantasy world. Awesome. I think I saw this one last time. Here's a screenshot he has of the game. This looks pretty cool. So, this looks like a. It just looks like a JRPG. It looks like um, a Cloud from Final Fantasy and Zack from Final Fantasy, or like a chibi version of um, Colonel Mustang from my favorite anime of all time, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Amazing. I haven't seen it already. Watch it. This is cool. It's like the the streets of Japan or some kind of metropolitan city. The AI interacting together down there with the, with the sing, sing a song together or something. This is really nice. Very simple. Yeah, I'm sure it's pretty complex for the story. This game is looking very adorable, but I'm sure there is some savagery that's going down in this town. Keep up the great work, and I'll be sure to check out your game on itch. That I am. Awesome. Oh, nice. We have Head of Bang Games for their game, Be Clouded. This is thanks for hosting. Welcome back, by the way, man. Uh, Be Clouded is a horror story driven hack and slash cinematic platformer set in a post apocalyptic world plagued by a zombie virus. This game's awesome. It's a demo on, out right now on Steam. I already wished this game a long time ago. Played the demo. It's awesome. It's fantastic. So, if you haven't yet played this game yet, if you love survival horror games or horror game in general and platformers with a little bit of secrets, check out Be Clouded. That's a very cool uh, screenshot of the cinematic uh, scene in the game. It's pretty creepy. If you love zombies, check this game out. It's pretty creepy. It's like, it's like retro, old school zombie hack and slash platformer game. Love it. Dude, love the screenshot here for a possible new cinematic. I hope so, because this game is super creepy, yet very interesting and fun. Can't wait to play the full game. Let's go. Awesome. The stack. I've been following this stack for about two or three months on Instagram as well as Twitter. I always see new updates for his game. I saw the boss update for the game and my God, every update's getting better and better and better. So he says, hi, thank you for hosting. I've been coding a bit to let the player defend against incoming projectiles. So if you are skilled enough, you can use spears to reflect projectiles back. Have a lovely screenshot Saturday. You too, man. So his, this weapon's been so versatile. It's used to platform, it's used to attack enemies. Now it's used to reflect bullets and attack. See this? Nice. I'm loving the world of Project Beyonder. I really am. Very cool world. It's so bright, it's so, inv it's so inviting, so interesting. Boom, look at that. That one weapon. I hope you can update this weapon as you go along in the game so you can have all of these at your disposal. This game is always looking awesome. I love the reflection of this very versatile weapon. Will there be upgrading the weapon to do more in the game? Can't wait to play the demo. I want to play this game right now because the game looks so much fun. I love platformers. Up next, we have Nuezware. He says, hey, screenshot Saturday, Nuezware here, showing a little bit of gameplay. Enjoy it. Oh, yes, we have gameplay footage now. This game has been looking so beautiful. Rain in the Abyss, it's called. I saw, we saw a screenshot last month, and I swear, this has been one of my favorites to follow because from this one screenshot to the moving screenshot with the menu screen, with this, with, with this is, to now we get gameplay footage of Rain in the Abyss. It looks like a very beautiful game. Let's see what they have here for us. Already almost 640 views, so yeah. It's getting some eyeballs on it. Let's see it. So beautiful. Oh, I love it. Look at the animation style. And the character already has a bow and arrow, or... 
Yeah, a crossbow, bow, and arrow. I love it already. One of my favorite weapons to use in games is a crossbow and bow, bow and arrow. Oh my goodness. Wait, is that Mewtwo or Mew? A companion? I'm sure it's not, but you know, kind of like it. Nice animations for the for attack. Love it. Good sound effects. I'm sure it's like it was recorded with iTub screen recorder, so it's a little off with the um, sound effects, but still looks good. Man, that looks vicious. Beautiful, beautiful background too. Look at the rain dropping on the on the moss or on the on the, on the lawn in the background over here. It's so nice. The energy gauge up here in the upper left hand corner, with the mana, I'm guessing, is moving. So it's kind of it's, it's moving as you're moving, I'm guessing, or just moving in general. That's so nice. Look at the small little details that this game has. Great sprites too. Great explosion. Awesome color palette. Ah, I love this game so much. This game is just absolutely gorgeous. Love the art design and the color palette and the sprites on attack and of course the character design. All on point. Background, music, and atmosphere along with the level design. Chef's kiss. Keep it up. All right, up next we have, oh, here we go. I saw a sneak preview of this. I got a little spoiled, but not too much. We have Chester's Revenge, his happiest screenshots out of the catality. Thanks for hosting. Chester's Revenge is now live on Steam. Congratulations, my friend, for getting the game up on Steam. I can't wait to play the full game and or a demo very soon. Watch our announcement trailer and don't forget the wishlist us. I've already done that, man. I've already did that. I followed you on Kickstarter when you guys had the, the first put, put it up there too, which I recommend you guys follow the Kickstarter too. Beautiful 2D pixel art, retro soundtrack, Kickstarter and demo coming soon. Let's go. This game is a boss heavy, retro old school action beat em up game. And it looks so nice. So let's see. All the bosses, all the enemies, and Chester kicking some ass. Nice! Power corrupts. A sacred carrot corrupts. Ralph stole the carrot. He transformed him. The carrot took a once gentle oh, no. pig and twisted him Rad into Ralph. a foul creature. He's Let's today. go. Flushed with newfound power and evil intentions, awesome. Ralph unleashed the, the full power of the carrot on his Eight bosses so far, okay. In effect, my name is Chester. <laughs> I was a lone survivor. Uh oh. And now I'm on a quest. A gun for an arm. A quest of revenge. Let's go, baby. Awesome song, dude. 80s inspired retro shooter. This looks so cool. This could have been on Sega or Nintendo. A will track. Far my way to Castle Bluffs. Oh, love it. The dash oh, feature. Yeah. Double jump. Seems are about oh, to so up. nice. Those epic boss battles, man. Come out, come out, wherever you are. I'm gonna die I'm so to many you, times. Bro. I'm coming for my vengeance. Oh, it's an amazing chiptune soundtrack. Nice. Get ready for Chester's revenge. I'm ready, dude. I am, I've been ready. I've been ready yesterday. This game looks awesome. Yes! Finally! First off, congrats on launching your Steam page for this amazing game. Can't wait to play the demo. I am so hyped to see the story trailer with eight epic bosses. Dude, can this game come out today? Awesome. All right, up next we have Chronicles of Two Heroes, soon on Kickstarter. So, dude, congrats on getting Kickstarter started here. And I believe it's a welcome back to Screenshot Saturday. I said, hi, thank you for hosting the Screenshot Saturday. Please consider to follow our Kickstarter campaign already done. It would mean a lot to us. Have a good weekend. Uh, here's how to face our newest mob, the bomb, Bomba Ninja. The dudes. Use Aimee's parry, dash dodge using Kensei, neutralize him with Aimee's kunai's. Don't. Stand still, use Kensei's parry. You can't parry a bomb, it's gonna blow up in your face. Okay, here we go, see what's going on here. Okay, throw the bomb. Oh, yeah, don't stand still. Throw the bomb. Boom, don't stand still. No, 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 no. Parry. Boom, oh, oh there you go. Not, oh, the parry is a, that's cool. So the parry is um, a instant transmission, I guess. A teleportation move, that's awesome, look at that. Woo. 
Right behind him too for like a stealth move. A backstab. That's awesome. Okay. By the way, gotta say, love the love the graphics, pixel art. Is, I love pixel art so much. The background. All these enemies are pretty smart. Arc the bomb right next to us and destroy us. That's fine. But then we just parry, teleport behind them, and then they're done. They, they, they don't know. They don't know. The step by step do's and don'ts are very helpful. Thanks. It'll uh, make me die a lot less when I play this in the future. But dude, amazing looking game so far. Love the variations of Perry, her character. Gives them their own unique style. Love it. Oh, Soul Patches game. They were here for Feature Friday. It was welcome to Screenshot Saturday again. Last time they showed us the um, gameplay trailer, or the, I guess the CG trailer, our small hero against a big brooding uh, villain. And then he won. How? Because he's a badass. So here we have something new already. New gameplay. I, I wanted that for a while. I'm like, do we get gameplay footage? Maybe maybe next week? And he said, Psh, next week, Kai. No, I have it for you on Saturday. Trailer Friday, gameplay Saturday because of you. Maybe not me, but you know, all of us in the indie game community. Here we go. Check it out. Oh, look at that. It's small snippet of the gameplay, but now we get to see how small the dude is, how fast he can be through these obstacles. We see the, um, the life gauge up there. I guess if we lose all six lives, we're done. I'm guessing the illuminated mask, the, the missing horn. I'm guessing if that thing below where the circle fills it up, it's going to be some kind of power move. That might be the case. This looks cool. Like the design, very simple. Looks like a pen and paper kind of platformer Metrovania game. I like it. I like it a lot. Nice. You are just spoiling me with all this new gameplay and trailer footage this weekend. I thank you. <laughs> Looking great so far. Love the level design. And it's cool to see our hero in action. Well done. All right, up next is R1K Games. I haven't seen them for a very long time. Well, you haven't seen me for a very long time, so touche. So thanks for the trend. This week, I've been working on making some mechanics interact with each other. Awesome. This game I saw last night at Screenshot Saturday, and it was a treat to watch in action. A small little snippet of gameplay we saw. Very colorful, very uplifting platformer game with some darkness, which that's always a good co combination for an interesting platform game. It also says, little example combining mechanics roll into fire so you can burn down vines in your way. Oh, that's pretty cool. Nice combination there. But roll through wind streams to blow off the flames when you don't want to burn up vines. That's a very cool physics element added to a, a platform game. Like I said, there's so many platform games out there, roguelike games, all kind of, every genre has been done a thousand times. But if you can do something special and innovative with your platform game or your certain genre of gaming, man, you killed it. You nailed it. Let's see it. I can't get through. Can't get through. So you roll through. Here you go. Jump. Boom. Oh, you roll into the weeds. And then you have a certain amount of time to not die. There you go. So you do this, roll through the weeds. Double jump. Over. Bam, that's awesome. Did he roll through the wind? I don't think I caught that. Oh, there's the wind. I see, I see. So it goes to here, go through the wind, right there. Boom, wind, and we can put it out, and then boom, done. That's cool. That's gonna make for some very interesting and fun levels to platform through. It'll make the game a little more hardcore, a little more precision platformer, which I love. I love a challenge. This is awesome. Love the new physics and unique mechanics you added to this game. Never seen this in a platformer in a while. So damn cool. Makes the game more challenging to the brain and overall skill level. That's very cool. Ooh, what's this? Here you go. We have a new, a newbie here for Screen Stop Side today. We have Weatherman, a Zelda Souls dev. I love it already. I love the Zelda likes. Love Souls likes. Let's see what you got here. Smack, smack, smack that Beetle Boy. We haven't named the game yet, yet, but we're trying to capture some of what made the original Zelda NES so compelling with some modernized mechanics inspired by games like Hollow Knight, Dark Souls, and the rest of that crowd. Awesome, fantastic, I love it. Let's see it. This looks cool already. The design looks nice. It looks like an NES game that just discovered color, which I love. That's, that's a great, it's a huge compliment because I love that kind of like you know, washed out color palette of the old school era. 
really makes you feel like you know nostalgic. Here's the thing: you can have you can be a, a Zelda like and a Souls like, but if you don't have this character picking up pots and smashing them, I don't care who owns them. You have to have some some kind of jerkness in it, some kind of jerk attitude in this character to have the audacity to be like you want a pot in front of your house, smash. That is pretty much the essence of a Zelda like game. Uh, I want to see if there's any kind of trailer here for the game. Ooh, there's more footage. Let's see some footage here of this game in action. Here we go. Oh, the music's already amazing. Here we go. Look at this. Goes over here. And smack. Nice. And awesome. This game already, I'm, on, I'm in love with it. I, I love that Zelda won. Love the, the remake on Nintendo Switch. Love Breath of the Wild. So this is right up my alley. I will be playing this game definitely when the demo comes out and when the game drops. This looks awesome. This looks beautiful. Plus, this is the first update we see in this game. I wonder how many bosses and boss battles will be in this game. And how many secrets will be in this game as well. You can't have a Zelda like game without secrets. Oh no, he's dead. Oh, cool death animation though. Very nice. This is absolutely beautiful. The washed out color palette is very nostalgic. Love the animations, the impact on the attack, on the character, and the amazing soundtrack. Oh, and the death animation is satisfying, which is good because I'll be seeing it often. Boom. So cool. Okay, the last one here we have, I didn't get through all you guys, but I tried to go through as many, as many as possible here. So the last one we have here is Blazing World Stars. Hey there, thanks for hosting Screenshots of today here. Have a look. And I love fighting games. Huge fan of my favorite game right now I'm playing is Tekken 7. So this game is right up my alley. I wanted to play more of these 2D fighters reminiscent of, you know, Street Fighter, old school Street Fighter 2. You know, Street Fighter 2 Turbo, which is the best game ever for fighting games. Uh, don't at me. It says, here's Matthias, Warrior Instinct, Gravity Well Toss, I can drag opponents in close for many applications. Make sure it counts. This looks like an opening for a very good combo. If you can grab them, pull them in, and bounce them in the air, you better be able to send them to the corner. And if you have a wall bounce, wall bounce them to the corner, boom, 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 a few more moves, and then boom, hit them with a super, and they're done. Love that grab move, by the way. It's very dangerous. Love animation of this so far that grab with the bounce on the opponent is an automatic combo from hell followed up by a massive lead damaging super move this looks so retro and beautiful can't wait to check out the alpha demo real soon all right, so that's it for now, my friends, for Screenshots of the Day. If you loved it, if you loved this feature here, be sure to hit that subscribe button, like for more, share with your friends, share with the indie game community, some who love this indie games, and indie dev trying to get their game noticed. I would love to cover that game here on the channel, guys. This is for us, it's for the indie game community, because I love indie games. I've been Kytality, guys. This has been Kai versus the World. Keeping awesome, I'll see you guys in the next video.